Hi guys, today's video is going to be a how-to video and um, if you can't tell, it's going to be how to cover your eyebrows or at least make your eyebrows um, workable enough for like Halloween tutorials and stuff like that. Um, this is the method that I've kind of adapted from the glue stick method. Um, I find it's quicker and it's easier and it works better um, and it gets the job done for whenever I need to cover my eyebrows for videos and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to show you uh, how I do it. So basically all you need is you need a glue stick and this is just like any kind of glue stick, regular glue stick. Um, and I'm taking a crappy pair of tweezers. One, or like if you had a small spatula that would work too, like the cosmetic spatulas, I don't. Um, these are like, these are my fancy tweezers. Um, they're a little lady. I love these tweezers. Anyway, so use tweezers that you don't really care about. <laughs> That's kind of my main suggestion. Um, yeah, so basically to start off, what you want to do is you just want to take a um, little bit of glue, like that much, it's kind of too much actually, but to take a little bit of that and just kind of just scoop it off with a glue stick. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of flatten this, kind of spatula it on or through my eyebrows. And now the reason why I find this much more effective than the other like way to do it is that the one that I watched when I first started watching YouTube videos or whenever I started watching like, I don't know, kind of how to cover your eyebrow videos, I guess, is to take the glue stick, put it through, let it dry, put it through and basically keep building up layers. Um, I find this way works much better because what you're doing is you're flattening down all the hair at once <laughs> And it kind of defeats the purpose of having to go over it time and time again to make a thick layer. If you're going ahead and just kind of doing a thick layer the first time. So yeah, I just go ahead and make sure all of the hair is flattened. Um, you can also just take your finger and just kind of make sure that it's all kind of smoothed down. You don't feel any hairs kind of sticking up in anywhere. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Now, the next step is to just let that dry. Um, you can let it air dry, it takes about 20 minutes maybe, but I'm bringing in my little friend called Mr. Hair Dryer. Um, if you have a hair dryer that has a cool setting, ironic, not ironic, funny story, um, mine is actually stuck on cool. Um, yeah, don't, yeah. It was like plaster or something that's stuck in this and it's stuck on cool. Um, so basically I just turn this on and I pointed out my eyebrows. If I have both of them, then I kind of switch it. And hopefully that's not too loud. I basically sit there and I do this for a while until my eyebrows dry. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be back to show you how to finish up the rest of it. Okay, so once your eyebrow is dry and you put the um, blow dryer or just let it dry, the next thing is to kind of cover it in a concealer. Now, I don't actually have concealer, nor do I have a powdered foundation that matches my skin. So I'm going to kind of cheat my way out of both of these. Um, I'm using the, the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, but if you really, if you have a concealer that matches your skin, use that. It's going to save you from having to kind of mix the color. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and make mix a little bit of the color that I want for this. Luckily enough, I've done this enough times to know exactly kind of what color I have to make. So yeah, I kind of made that kind of color. And I'm just going to take a like angle brush. This is a um, 266. And I'm just going to take that color that I just mixed. And your eyebrow should be dry at this point. And I'm just going to basically take the color and go over it. It doesn't match my skin 100%, but that's okay. And you basically want to put it all over the eyebrow and also all kind of around it and just to be sure to blend that kind of color out just so that it blends into your skin nicely so that there's no um, harsh edges. Okay, so then once you have that color on, you can see that that kind of just lightens it up. Um, now, what I like to do to set it is take um, a color that matches my skin. If you have a powder, obviously that would work. The closest color to my skin is this, which is Blanc Type Eyeshadow from MAC. So I'm just going to take one of these, which is like a sponge, swirl it in some eyeshadow, and then I'm just going to press it on to just kind of set it. And it's going to um, 
make it the same color as my skin. So that's kind of how you do that, I guess. And um, yeah, that's it. That's how you cover your eyebrows easy, quick. Um, obviously, you would just use a concealer color that matches your skin and a powder. Um, you could use a translucent if the concealer matches like perfectly. Um, yeah, quick and easy. And this I hope is going to uh, is going to help you guys with Halloween stuff um, or for any time that you need to cover your eyebrows. I will definitely use this video as like a reference point. So if any of my tutorials um, to come. Halloween wise or whatever um, Requires you to cover your eyebrows. I'll put a little link that says come back to this video and watch this so yeah I do hope you enjoy it and it was quick and easy for you and Yeah, it's kind of the simple way to do it. So um, Until my next video, I'll talk to all you soon. Bye